I have a confession to make, and that is that I am recording this um, from Arizona. <laughs> and as you can see that on the screen, um, it is not the best state to be in right now. It's actually the worst when it comes to COVID numbers and um, just for some context, so I'm, I have not shared this because I'm trying to, um, you know, not only share information on social media about like research and science and best practices and about, you know, how to handle the global pandemic we're in right now, um, but also trying to be a good role model and traveling is not being a good role model at the moment. Um, but I did want to share why I'm out here and what I'm doing. So um, my best friend, she just got surgery the Mayo Clinic and um, I'm here taking care of her for post-op. Um, she was there for me when I had my baby and and took care of me and now I'm um, so honored to return the favor even though it's um, not the best of timing and I struggle with the decision a lot um, but one of the only reasons listed on the CDC website to travel right now is to be a caretaker for loved ones. So um, I made that difficult decision, um, separated from my family for a few weeks, and, um, and I'm heading back to Pittsburgh on Thursday where I will be um, self um, isolating uh, for the, the incubation period. Um, all that is to say, the reason I am giving this confession is because um, what's happening here in Arizona. Um, so yesterday, yesterday um, I was driving at night and there is a wildfire, a bush wildfire, look it up. It's about 50 miles outside of Phoenix and it's uh, 59 square miles, this, this fire, 0% contained. Uh, and you can see it from space, NASA has a picture of it. And um, the world's literally on fire here. <laughs> literally um, and also figuratively in COVID sense and people just don't care and it's not everyone. Some people have masks on but the bulk majority don't and it's just like so crazy to me coming from a state, Pennsylvania, that has had a lot of these restrictions in place and has the critical mass of people to, to see the positive outcomes of social distancing and wearing masks and you know public health <laughs> best practices and to be here and not see any of that just shows the power of social norms and culture and and trust in leaders that maybe is um <laughs> blind um to the point of our detriment and i see such a clear equivalent to that to the to, to the the blindness to covid as i do to the blindness of racism amongst white people um how we can be living in this culture um that is hurting others and we are actively contributing to the to the detriment of others whether it's getting people sick or um upholding systemic racism um but the the similarities are just like so stark and apparent um and it gets me really fired up <laughs> to continue doing work in this space and to the point of yeah sharing this making this confession and sharing this lesson and vowing to do my part my continued part of not spreading covid and not spreading racism and being anti-racist and and not letting the status quo and the culture around us dictate what we know is best which is taking care of ourselves and each other the an emphasis on the each other piece so um not to rag on arizonans and as i said it's not everyone but Oh my gosh, the culture here is just so different than what I'm really looking forward to getting back to in Pennsylvania and Pittsburgh. So don't worry, Pittsburghers, don't worry, my fellow answers. I will be isolating and getting tested and doing all the things um, to keep my city and community safe. Um, please do the same and um, take care of yourselves and each other.